Two ball clubs, one division. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Cleveland Indians. Ready to go on 2K Sports. We welcome you to the site formerly known as the Jake Now Progressive Field here in Cleveland. A look at Mark Burley. He'll be doing his best to get a W on the mound tonight. Thank you for being with us. 2K Sports brings you Major League Baseball live this Saturday afternoon. Thorne, Phillips, and Krupp. Starting pitcher Jake Westbrook. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. A quality right-hander on the mound against this lineup. He should be able to, to get the outs he needs to come away with a victory, especially if his offense gives him some run support. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? If you want to see power in the lineup, just look at Carlos Quentin. This guy can hit it out of the ballpark and hit it out anywhere. It doesn't matter if he's pitched away, he'll take it to right. If he's pitched in, he'll hit it to left field. Great power stroke, but the thing he's been working on this year is his consistency. And for Sednik's batting, now the Indians losing that last game. So a three-game series sees them dropping the first. Chance to make it a rubber match against the White Sox. The pitch from Westbrook. He swings and nails a liner. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Chance to check out the Indians around the diamond on their defense. Now, Steve, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Gary, one of the highlights for this defense is Shin Su Chu in the outfield. He can run the ball down. He gets it in quickly with a very strong arm. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. The pitch smash towards the middle and it gets down. The streak is on. Now back Here's a look at the schedule for the Chicago Cleveland White Indians. Sox. One base. game left Number for the White 14. Sox. That's tomorrow. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. That'll kick off Tuesday evening. Then they have yet another venue. The Athletics hosting that one. So they'll be on the road quite a bit over this next stretch. That's it foul by Canerco. Oh! He swings and drives this one. This one to Sizemore. That's runner on his way to third. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear down, work his way out of this jam and keep the score tied. Slider swung on a miss. 0 oh and 1. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can. Hmm, they got a chance here to gain a base. And he is safe at the plate. Wow. He caught him napping and picks up a run. Checks him at second. Much too close for the runner's concern. He's back in there, though. The pitch from Westbrook. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get him chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. And Beckham's in the box. He's got a 292 average when going up against the Indians. Let him to chase that one away. Strike one. Got to love that location down and away. And with that kind of movement, not many guys are going to put it in play. Hit hard on the ground to short. Yeah. Throws to first side is retired. Early pressure being put on. A run over in the first. The White Sox on top. One to nothing. Mark Burley is going to be pitching. He's going to start for Chicago. Johnny faces these Cleveland hitters. What do you think he's focusing on? 
Well, don't blink your eye on this one because if you do, you're going to miss some pitches from Mark Burley, the quickest worker in all of baseball. When he gets it, he throws it. There's no wasted time. He has a low pitch count. He throws a fastball, a curve, a changeup, a slider, a cut fastball. He throws them all for strikes, and he uses his defense. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he keeps the ball in play and down ball. in the zone. Slider misses badly with it, 1-0. One oh on the way. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And Quentin picks it up. Line up for the Indians. We'll take a look, courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, Johnny Peralta is a great hitter. He has power. He can provide some pop for this team. Let's see if he can do that today to get his team a win. Swung and a fly ball. And it's going to be Quentin. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Particular standouts here, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Base is empty with two outs. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So Mike Burley gets him one, two, three. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And it'll be the White Sox. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark in that last ball game for him. And I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power's coming. Back up the middle. Ball buena. So Rios is set down. It's going to be Brzezinski. Well, A.J. Brzezinski put together a pretty solid season for the White Sox in 2009, hitting 300. He doesn't strike out a lot. He's a contact guy. You'd like to see maybe drive in a little more. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And Cabrera gloves that one. Now, this shortstop makes it look easy, but there's nothing easy about that. Those hard line drives often are like knuckleballs coming at him, but he made the play. And Mark Tiana, one of the best batting averages in the league. Well hit towards the middle. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Amazingly fast inning. A crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. Burley with a delivery. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0-1. Boy, that good late movement down, that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. So Chu is retired. Well, look here at last year in the American League, where the Indians ranked compared to everybody else. Seventh in batting average, seventh in hits, and they were in the top ten in runs. An offense that was relentless, that ability to continue to put the pressure on the opposition and take pressure off their own pitching staff. And it's Johnny Peralta in the box now. Swing and a line at a right center. And that'll be Cleveland's first hit of the ball game. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base. And he does with one out that base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. And it'll be Valbuena standing in to hit. Well, Mark Burley again established himself as the ace of the Chicago White Sox staff. You talk about a guy who doesn't throw hard, but he keeps the ball in play. He makes his fielders work behind him, and that's why everyone loves playing with him. Out number two. And for Mark Burley, he's turned into a real horse. This is a guy not only pitches well and often, but deep into games. Well, he sure does. He's a godsend to the bullpen because every time he goes out there, you know he's going to give you seven, eight, possibly even nine innings every start. He delivers. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. Now Cleveland, here's the chance they won. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. 
When you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement, it can be very effective. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. And Austin Kearns watching that one go by. Count is even. Well, that two-seam fastball has to be thrown down in the zone. You throw it up, it flattens out, and you can get hurt. Back up. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Overcast here at Progressive Field, but uh, still pretty good weather for baseball. Jason Nix. It's going to be Nix now. He got fooled on that one. Takes a cut at a ball down in the dirt. The pitch from Westbrook. Hit up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. And that's going to bring Scott Pesetnik up. Had a base hit his last time up. Runner on first base. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. That's one. And two. They got both of them that time. But Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is for team success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Swung on and missed. On one. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Hard ground at a short, and Cabrera picks it up. Throws the first side is retired. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rush you around. And we'll see the Indians next. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Marson's in the batter's box. One for four, lifetime against the White Sox. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Slider just misses one and oh. Now the 1 0 pitch. 1 0 pitch. That's a cutter in there. 1 1. With that good running action on that cut fastball, you think you're going to center it at the heart of the plate. It just moves off to the corner. He didn't offer. And that's on the outside corner. 1 and 2. The 1 2 on its way. Swing and a foul straight back. On the way. This one's grounded to second. Back up. And that's in plenty of time for the out. Number 24. And it's Grady Sizemore in the box now. Well, Grady Sizemore last year, an injury plague season, only 436 at bats. Can he stay healthy this year? And he starts Sizemore out. The pitch from Burley swung on and missed. For Sizemore, uh, Montreal Expos drafted him third round in 2000. Well, and you can see why they drafted him so high. He's a great athlete, and he has the ability to be a leader of a team. And Grady Sizemore strikes out, couldn't make contact. 
That's a lot of movement there for pitch at 87 miles per hour. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And Cabrera settles in. He is one for 16 lifetime against Burley. What's that breaking ball go outside for ball one. Here's the 1 0. Ground ball towards second. Beckham throws to first in time. That's three down. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. The White Sox. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. And Paul can hit up the middle. Oh, and he caught it. What a play. A right shot fielder. right back Number at 20. him. What a play by the pitcher Quentin. right there. He should have seen it. I think he had to close his eyes to make that catch. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. He's the league leader in ribbies. The pitch from Westbrook. Cut fastball swung on and missed. Owen win. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and he took advantage of it. There's a swing and a line drive. And that gets through for a base hit. And that's going to plate Alex Rios. Better fielder. Puts a fastball away, but he goes out and hooks it into left field for a base hit. And the 2009 season was a big disappointment for Alex Rios. Swing, hot shot, and he's got it now. There's one, and two, a double play. Quick half inning there, it's over, five pitches. White Sox one, Cleveland nothing. It's going to be Laporta now. And the first pitch. Ball. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Come on, Cleveland. One oh on the way. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And that should be a single. That will bring Shin Su Chu to the plate. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Hit hard on the ground to short. The second for one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Burley with a delivery. First pitch is a slider low, 1 0. Oh. Good spot there, just down a little bit out of the zone, tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Lined up the middle, and he gets it down. He's two for two now. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, there's no reason in the world for any hitter to want to swing at that pitch. A pitch down out of the strike zone. Never had a chance at all to be a strike. But that's why we're up here talking about it, and he's down there doing it. He can get his bat on that ball to get a hit. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four-seam fastball. That hurts. Two retired here. Cannot get back. He is tagged out. Trying to go back to second. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. Four innings, shutout mound work. Boy, he's... And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's going to be Pruszynski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And the 0-1 by Westbrook. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. 
And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. That brings up Mark Tian. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 1. How's he doing? Well, lifetime 307 off Cleveland. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Still 0 and 2. The pitch from Westbrook. And Tian swings and misses strike three. They had a swing at it. Two strikes, ball up and away. A good pitch to at least put the player foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. One out, runner on at first. First pitch on the way. Line shot into center field. That one gets through for a base hit. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, anytime you have two hits in a game, it will build confidence, and he's carrying it over into this game. And Posednik's batting. One for two in the ballgame. Hit sharply towards the hole. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big timeout. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. So that puts Paul Canerco at the plate. Now this one's coming to the inside part of the plate, but he manages to put the bat on the ball and drive it to right field. We call that a muscle hit, Steve. He just muscled that to the opposite field. Now how do you know it's a muscle hit? Muscles? Take a look at these. Oh, guns. Towards center field, and Canerco's got himself a single. One run is in. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did that pays off. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Here, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up four hits in the inning, but manage only one run. White Sox by two. It'll be the bottom third of the And Bradley's in the box. He singled his last trip. Number 23, Michael Bradley. Here's the first pitch. Swing, soft liner towards right center. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. That brings up Austin Kern. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. Good pitch from Burley. Swung on and missed. Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game. And, you know, they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. And now he's heading for home. And in there. Talk about hustle. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, that pitch was upstairs, but he went up there and got it. Well, a nice piece of hitting got up on top of that ball and drove it. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he is safe at first. He's on board. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And Grady Sizemore up. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. And a strike, Burley catches him looking. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really, the guy leading this team's offense. And 
some kind of offensive production. Strike two. Sizemore is going to be much more careful with that cut here. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. Yeah, and Grady Sizemore strikes out. Couldn't make contact. That's a hard fighting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in play. Swung right through it. Here's the pitch. On the ground to third. So Cabrera is set down. And they get the tying run home. Good team offense right there. Get them off, get them over, get them in. Doesn't have to be the long ball. Out can score runs. It's going to be Laporta now. Well, it is happening now. It may be a little late, but then again, they've got momentum, Steve. Look here, we just saw a quality at bat right there. That's some clutch hitting. They needed the big hit. They got it, and now we're tied. Mark Burley gets that important strike, 0-2. Did they ever? And with that, Steve, uh, as they say, we've got ourselves a brand new ball game. Well, this keeps things a little bit interesting now, doesn't it? Yep. Swing and a foul straight back. Curveball, strike three, called. Side is retired. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Ball game tied here in Cleveland. And Beckham's in the box. One for two in the ball game. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. First pitch to him. A smash to first. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. In the top ten and hits. Hard grounded a short. One. And there's two. A double play. 6-4-3 double play. Nice move at second base. Yeah, that's a great double play. Pulling off double plays like that can really shift the momentum of the game. It's going to be Krasinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. That one swung on. Hit in the air to deep right center field. And it's up against the wall. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Well, they set down the first two men of this inning, but they couldn't get him out. A big double right there with two outs, and a two-out hit will score a run. And here's the grounder to Peralta. Throws on the first side is retired. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. Still tied up here in Cleveland. And the actor we're looking at. And he knows it starts with great pitching. Happy with the last inning on the mound, now looking for the offense. Swing, and that's going to be hit behind the plate. Burley with a delivery. Oh. Sin Chu Chu not fooled by that one, and that's going to even up the count. Swing and a soft liner to the right. Beckham able to pull that one in. Well, he might have had himself a hit, but he just had gotten it up over the second baseman. Unfortunately, not high enough. He's able to make the play. Here's the pitch to Peralta. Swing and lined up the middle. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And it'll be Valbuena standing in to hit. He leads the American League in walks. A shot up the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. And they'll hold him at first base. Well, this ball's tattooed. It's flying off the bat, but the shortstop was right there to glove it for the out. Here's the first pick. Fastball just misses. 1 0. Burley with a delivery. Low for a ball, and it's 2 0. Fastball called strike two and one. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. 
Here's the 2-1. Oh! Low for a ball, and it's suddenly 3-1. and one. Now, If you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. And that one misses. That'll be ball four. Let me just be careful here. Don't give them three base runners. Make them earn it. That'll bring Austin Kearns up. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Kearns, who can K, he doesn't want to do that here. Now two strikes on the hitter. They're a strike away from getting oh. out of this jam with the game still tied. The one-two pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quinton. And there's the third out. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. The White Sox two, Indians two. It's going to be Nix now. He'll start things off here in the seventh. Number five, Jason Nix. Now the first pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And through for a hit. The go-ahead run is on. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And the first pitch. Takes that one low and outside on one. And the 0 1 by Westbrook. He swings on a pitch that was in the dirt. That's a strike. Whoa. Hit in the air. And a foul ball. Here's the delivery. A swing line to left center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. He throws. There's the run, and it gives them the lead. Now up to the plate. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0 2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. So Alexei Ramirez is batting. Steve, great determination by this offense. It looks like they may take charge of this ball game late. Well, they needed that one right there, Gary. That was a big at bat. Now the there's a bullet towards third, and he can't get to it. It rolls all the way to the wall. A run scores. Now up to the plate. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Second base occupied. Nobody out yet. And he starts Canerco out. There is a swing and a liner. One away. Good piece of situational hitting right there. Man on second. You've got to get him to third. Even with the out, he does it. Good piece of baseball. Here's Carlos Quinton. The White Sox get another chance here. Now with one away and a man on third base. Going to issue the walk. Now well, they're going to pitch around this guy. Put him on base. Now try to get the double play. Not a bad strategy. Here is the opportunity for the youngster Gordon Beckham. And this offense with another big chance. And here's the first one. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed, 0-1. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. Swung on, hit. And Ramirez is home. Now up to the plate. Well, the, the guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball Number game. Three hits right now so far. Field. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And Saul Rivera is the pitcher. He'll be the reliever for the Indians. 
Well, it's about time. I mean, I don't know what they weren't seeing from the dugout. They should have gotten out of this game a lot earlier. It's Alex Rios. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Offense coming to life. Swung on, and it's hit. This one towards Sizemore. Two down. Now up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Przinsky. Number 12, A.J. Przinsky. Two down. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch up the middle. They pick up four hits in the inning and three runs across the plate. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. There's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. Right now his lineup is in overdrive. A exciting bit of run production. A good way to keep your manager happy. Headed for the middle. Oh, he now caught it. Play. What a for play. That was a team. shot right back at the mound. Number Pitchers are tired. Once they release the ball, they become a fielder. He was in good position right there to be able to make the play and help himself. One out, nobody on. Now Przinsky sets up. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Offensively now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. Ground ball headed for the middle. Beckham over to Canerco. Now it's two away. And Cabrera settles in. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. First pitch to him. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to see if you can't reduce this three-run lead a little bit. Leave yourself something to do in the eighth and ninth, but try to peck away at it right here. He gets Cabrera to swing, strike one. But Gary, this guy has an outstanding changeup. I mean, he makes his living by deceiving the hitter. Curve ball just off the black, and it's two and one. You know, Gary, I mean, the reason he gets so many swings and misses on this pitch is the change in velocity. He'll throw the hard fastball and then pull the straight line towards second. Beckham, and he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. The White Sox maintaining their lead. Here's Mark Tian leading it off. 0 for 3 to this point. Number 25, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. One away. For the Chicago White Sox. Designated hitter, number 5. It's going to be Nick's now. One out, bases him. Drill towards the hole. Laporta. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Posednik's batting. Had an RBI double this last time. Two outs. Base is empty. And here's the first one. And it's fouled away. Rivera with a delivery. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. It's going to be Laporta now. He'll start things off. Bottom half, eighth inning. First pitch on the way. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. Obviously getting late right now, Gary, and I think that from the pitching perspective, you'll trade it out for a run. And Swing and a hot shot. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. He's on his way to third, and he is safe at third ahead of that play. 
A ball was well struck. Good piece Number of hitting. Three. The infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he's able to get a bite. Here's the pitch to Peralta. Hit hard to second. That's one away. The run scores. They were able to get the out at first base, but I'm not sure they shouldn't have tried to cut down the runner at the plate. And it'll be Valbuena standing in to hit. It is a difficult task to try to get back into a ball game at this point, but they're close. Well, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary, and they're showing some fight left in those bats. But Chu's stealing. The throw, and he's in there at third. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. And what you hope when you get a hit like that is that maybe you've got momentum starting to come your way because the game's not over. Well, you know what? They've got hit up the middle. Burley. And so Valbuena is retired. If you're even thinking about it, do not change your channel. Not for this matchup. Locked in his last plate appearance. Burley with a delivery. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they score once on two hits. One man left. The Indians are not... And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He doubled his last time. Alexi Ramirez. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a rocket toward short. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. Coming to bat. Well, you talk about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. Batting now, Paul Konerko. And at this point in the ballgame, you'd love to add some more runs on that board. Well, just get an insurance run or two to protect your relief pitchers when they come into the game. This could be the put-away run of runs. And Konerko's got himself a single. I mean, the now he's a first pitch fastball hitter. He got the fastball and ripped it in the left. Here's Carlos Quinton. He has not hit well in this matchup. 188 against the Indians. First pitch to Quinton. And it goes foul. Oh one, Rivera kicks and delivers. Strike two. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0-2. You got to protect right now. Out at the plate. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. Uh, it's fair to say, Gary, they needed that out badly. Now he's got to come right back at him and get another one. They're down. They cannot give up more runs here this late in the game. Rivera with a delivery. Swung on, hit sharply to first. Over to second for one. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. But keep the runners right where they are. Now two out. Not a lot of time left in this ball game. You cannot give them more run. And he starts Rios out. Probably should not have swung at that one. It's a strike even though the ball was in the dirt. That strike's going to run the count to 0-2 for Rivera. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over-anxious. you got to... Swung on, liner to right. The throw, he's on board way ahead of that play. And they get that run in. On the replay, Steve, we'll take a look at this again. This is an outfielder trying to be an infielder. Well, great effort and aggressiveness on his part. Just couldn't quite get him. And it'll be Jensen Lewis doing the pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Uh, Jensen Lewis, a guy that comes in and brings an outstanding fastball. Not a lot of movement on it, but he has the velocity. Swung on, line to right field. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. Coming to bat. 
Got a big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And we've got Chris Perez out on the mound. As they make the pitching swap, Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, pitcher that's trying to find his way in the big leagues, Chris Perez. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And that'll put Tien on first. There's one. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Designated hitter, number five, Jason Nick. Well, that's another insurance run for them right there. And now a little more breathing room as they head to the bottom of the ninth. The first pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And he's there to retire the side. So they strike for five base hits in the inning and a couple of runs. The White Sox, four-run lead. There's Manny Act to the manager. Right fielder. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Here's a swing and a broken bat ground ball. That retires Kearns. Uh, he's having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. 0 oh and 1. Burley kicks and delivers. Line drive. So that'll bring up Grady Sizemore. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Up the middle. Up with it now. Over to Canerco. That's two gone. Uh, down to their final out right here, Gary. So, I mean, they're looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. And he starts Cabrera out. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today. Allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. And we come to that point of our broadcast where we honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game over to the bullpen. They like to finish what they start, and that's exactly what he did today. He had all his pitches working, and he had complete command of the strike zone out there. He kept his lineup in check for the entire game and finished it strong. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.